everybody. Waiting for a couple people to come on. We're going to do the tutorial on the fire cup that I posted um, with the real flames at the bottom. So we're just waiting for a couple people to get on and say hi when you jump on. How many, is there any people on? Mm -hmm. It's about 10, 13. Hey guys. Hey Pam. I'm just waiting for a couple people to get jump on so I don't have to go back to the beginning. I have my water slide cut out for my real fire. Hey Stephanie. From Alaska. Alaska. That's awesome. Whoop. Set this in front of the fan. I was kind of late getting set up, so I just sealed my water slide and painted my cup. So. Valerie says, howdy, my glitter BFF. Hello, Valerie. We haven't spoken in a while. I think it's because you've been busy making cups. Hey, Lisa. Good afternoon, Latrinda. Hello. Hey, Angela. There's a couple people that asked if I could like tag mm. them in it, but I don't know how I can tag somebody in it while I'm doing it. It's Princess Heather. I know it feels like forever. It has been forever. Hi, Angela. Okay, you can take it back now. Ooh. Okay. I'll take the filter off. I enjoy these filters way too the much. The reason we're late is because Cameron was playing with all the filters. Just so you guys don't, know. Don't. Stop playing with filters now. I'm, I just turned it off. I just turned it off. Okay. Valerie says nice crown. Thanks. And then Carrie says, oops, queen. Heather. She corrected herself. Okay. She's queen of the castle. 63 people watching, so go for it. Awesome. Okay, so I've spray painted my cup white. I got my cup spray painted white. Um, it just was spray painted white, so it's still a little bit sticky. So my first step that I'm going to do, I think I did a reverse last time, but I'm worried about burning my water slot or catching it on fire. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on my cup turner. So I saw a lot of people say, you know, I know I watch Lindsay's. This is how I learned how to do the smoke method. Um, we're going to do the smoke method first. I can tell you that I watched Lindsay's live and she used a spoon or a fork, you know, something that's silver so that you, when you put it over the flames, it will create the smoke effect. Um, I did a little bit of research and to get the dark, darker smoke on it. I actually read that using black electrical tape works really well. So I'm just taking the roll and this is one of the things hey, where Adrian. the epoxy stirs that the ball fell off on the end. Don't you hate it when the balls fall off? Um, and so I'm just wrapping it with electrical tape. And you'll see as I go through and I'm doing the smoke method, you'll be able to see that um, I'll just keep putting black electrical tape over this. So, I've got my candle. This is a Bath and Body Works candle. So it's going to smell fabulous. Just for you guys. So y'all be able to smell it. So, I'm going to have my, I'm going to turn my fan off. Because, or turn it in different direction. Turn it on camera. I'm smoking over here. And the reason I do that is because hey Shay. I, don't hey Cabrina. Blow, I don't want it to blow the smoke that way. So I've got my candle lit. And what you do, so the most part of the cup that I'm actually going to be trying to focus on is from this where the, it starts to curve and get wider at the top. Because down here is where I'm going to put my flames at. So I take my little stick with the electrical tape on the end. And I catch it on fire. And you'll see the smoke effect starting to take place on the cup itself. It stains, you know, 
the cup. I move my candle back and forth. Hey, in it. My electrical tape is on fire right now, but it does go out. That's the purpose of electrical tape. Mary said we need smell of vision. Right. So I'm just moving my candle back and forth under it. The reason I like for it to turn is because it's easier for me to get a better direction. Now, when I see a spot that looks kind of bare, I really, you know, press the electrical hey, tape Denise. in there. The local fire department loves us too, by the way. Yeah. I haven't burned down the house yet. See, the purpose of the electrical tape is, I guess, whatever it's made for, it will put the fire out. I don't know why or why it does that, but it's really cool and it's kind of a safety feature when you're doing it too. So I'm just going to go a little bit below my spot where Lisa said, how do you keep the room ventilated? She just got this fan going. Yeah, I just got a fan going. You can't even really smell it. Like, it smells like nothing. All I smell is the candle. Tanya says, amazing. Hi, Ginger. She says, thank you for sharing. Of course. I can smell it, but it's not, like, overwhelming. No. And our... our AC vent is up there at the top too, so it's kind of blowing it, dissipating it everywhere. So I've got my smoke effect on there. This is what my stick looks like with the electrical tape afterwards. It just, I just pulled off the last one before we started this live. You're welcome, Lisa. So that I could use it again. Um, if you see any dark spots, you can kind of take your finger and rub it out a little to try and, you know, make it not as dark. So you see, I took it a little bit lower. I took it down here to make sure that where it meets. Angela said that's so cool. Lisa said, are you in a dining room area? No, we're not. She's in her actual craft room. Mark, yeah, she she just did the smoke effect on it. Yeah, that's just the first part. That's a smoke effect. And the reason I do the smoke method to it first is because I don't want my water slide. If I apply my water slide first, then it will it'll start getting really hot and you'll see your water slide start to crinkle and shrink. So I do the smoke effect before I actually apply my water slides. Okay, yeah, she's just using a regular candle. We'll work with any, with any candle. And yeah. she's got a, uh, it's just a stir stick that the ball fell off of that she's using. Yeah, you could just, use a stir stick. Piece. You can use a spoon if you want to. Some people just use the metal and burn the metal and it creates the um, black smoke to come up. Hi, Teresa. The only reason I use the black electrical tape is because it creates a darker smoke effect, um, and it doesn't take as long for me to get get it to the point that I want the smoke to be on there. And it's a great idea using the turner. Yeah. Hey, Heather. She said thank you for doing this tutorial. Uh, Cabrina says thank you for sharing. Ginger says this is so creative. Who knew? Janelle says unrelated to smoke cup. Random question. How thick are the bands you cut for the top and bottom of your whiskey barrel cup? <laughs> Half inch? Um, Question mark? She actually just did two more. Yeah, I gotta ship these out. I'm not a ruler. There was one up here. You're welcome, Felicia. Hey, Patricia. It's probably, it's like a quarter of an inch. So they're, they're pretty thin, but I think I do, I stretch it all the way to like 10 or 11 inches to make sure it goes completely around. Adrian so says tin foil works really well too. Oh, I never thought of that. That's a really good idea. Okay, so my next part is my water slides. I went on Google. Now this image is a little different than the original image I used. Um, this is the water slide with the original image on it. And I could probably use this one if I wanted to. The only reason I didn't like this one as much is because you can see the little checkerboards in the back. And I had to cover that up with alcohol ink. So, but I typed in, for this one, I typed in real fire with smoke. And it popped one of these up. It's under like vector or something like that. Um, 
And then this one is one I just typed in real fire and I scrolled through and found one that had a black a black background on it so it wasn't so obvious that it was, you know, a water slide. It's a lot less to try and cover up. I did print these on a white water slide. You're welcome, Janelle. I could have printed it on a clear water slide, but I didn't. I've noticed when I do like my full cup wraps and things like that, the clear water slide, if you have like an air bubble or a water bubble underneath it and the space between your water slide and the cup, it creates a color difference. So you can see where the water bubbles are. However, if you do it with a white water slide, um, it has a white background on it, so it makes it doesn't create a color difference, if that makes sense. It kind of sounds like that. Hey, Lindsay. So I'm just trimming out some of the black. So I've got my water slide. Um, you need water. Oh, that's okay. How is it? So I will tell you guys around this cup, you're going to have to cut this in a couple of hey, different pieces. And the reason for that is um, the bottom of the cup is curved. Now you can warp this image. I just didn't have time. Uh, so I'm going to cut it into a couple of different pieces. However, I am going to try and keep those pieces together. So that they <laughs> Welcome, match Robin. up together. She said, ooh, I thought I was going to miss you guys. Just got done watching my granddaughter's virtual 2020 graduation. Oh, very nice. Congratulations. So, I got my little tub to of her. water. And I'm probably going to cut it into three different pieces. So I'm going to put this in the water. And just let it soak for a minute. And once you guys see this, you're going to be like, wow, that is so simple. <laughs> it was actually Cameron's idea for this cup. Boom. I'll also show you guys how I did the name. I don't know if you saw the finished cup, but I did the name. I cut the name out of flames too. But it was the same flames that I used for the cup. I'll explain how I did that. Because I thought it was kind of nifty how I did it. So, I'm just going to slide, well, I'm rough with my water slides, you guys. Latrin, does she, this one's the inkjet. Yeah, I did this one so with So, she did this one with her, I'll show you the printer. Because it's I wanted it to be uh, super sealed and flexible so it wasn't going to rip or flake off on me or anything like that. This, the brand water slide for this one was the Haze. So this is the printer that she's using. It's an XP 340 Epson that I converted to the Sys ink. So it has the tanks where she has continuous ink and doesn't have to use all those cartridges that cost all that money. So, so I get it straight on my cup. And my favorite little tool is my little plastic spatula looking thing that I have somewhere. Here it is. So you see I got a big bubble under there. Normally if this was a white water slide, you would be able to see the color difference under that bubble. But since this is white water slide, you can't see the color difference. Hmm. Latrenda, you just let, give me your address. I'll come convert it for you. <laughs> turn it this way. So you'll see the image starts to go up a little bit. Um, that won't really matter once we put the alcohol ink on top of it. So cut out I plan on doing one for you guys, Janelle. As far as a how-to for converting to continuous ink, it's it's not very difficult. It's just slightly time-consuming in the beginning, but totally cost-effective. Okay, so I got my second little piece. I cut it a little bit smaller because my image is going up a little so I'm gonna soak that in my water. Lindsay says looking into getting an ink jet so I can do printed vinyl. Only have a laser. You can do printed vinyl on the laser. You can actually print directly onto Oracle 651 with a laser. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's how I got the name cut out, out of the flames, is I printed the flames that I used for the bottom of my last cup. I printed my <laughs> flames out on the Oracle 651 mat, regular vinyl, and then I laser printed the flames on it, and then, um... Use your silhouette to cut it out. I used my silhouette to cut the name out of where I had printed on the vinyl. Which super cool method. I love it. It's fantastic. And I was kind of proud of myself because it added a nice little touch to the cup. Cabrina, I plan on doing a how to convert. Definitely don't mind. So And Latrenda said, Don't tempt me with the offer about converting her printer. <laughs> Yeah, Christine, if we're, she's happy to go over anything again. I know you missed the first part, but it'll be on replay, and if you if you have any questions, just ask. Yeah, so I just did the smoke method on the cup. Um, I stuck electrical tape to the end of this little thing, stuck it over the fire of my candle, and let my, my cup spin on the cup turner as it was the smoke was barreling around it. And that's how it gives it the smoke, the smoke effect. Uh, Cricut brand printable vinyl. I, yes, that's the kind I use. That's what Heather says she uses. Yeah, I haven't printed I, it out on my laser yet, but I'm pretty sure Valerie, that's what she did her WD-40 one with. And Miss Gloria, as far as I know, um, you can convert pretty much any inkjet to a continuous ink, but I would I would recommend I would recommend going on eBay and trying to see if you can find a. It's called Sis Ink. CIS ink, uh, continuous ink, and just find a kit that kind of matches your printer, and it should be able to be converted. Yeah, that's Christian. Our son's awake now. So you guys might be with Heather for just a second while I go check on him. Uh, Marcia. Marcia. So you can print on 651 vinyl. You don't have to buy printable vinyl. Yeah, I print on 651 vinyl with my laser printer. That's I, not printable, right? No, it is not printable. It's just matte white uh, vinyl that you would use to cut names out of or anything like that. It's bad news. Okay. What do you mean it's bad What's news? What does that mean, kid? Well, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my water slide on. Angela says she noticed your turner made your cup go up and down in a circle. Yeah, that's because it's not on the ball straight. Yeah. I just kind of threw it on there. This ball doesn't really fit this cup. Hey, hey, I guess that's ginge. I'm going to say ginge because I don't want to botch it entirely. Yeah, Valerie's on here. She said that's the one I use all the time on my laser. It's yeah. a regular Oracle. She, has to use, she uses both, credible and regular. All right, so how do you want me to work this to check on him? for a little bit. Okay. You run in there, you know exactly what's going to happen. You're going to freak out. You can't coddle him every time he's dry. No, I didn't intend to, but... So, I'm going to dry off my cup. I'm going to go back in with the uh, alcohol ink after... I'm going to grab the baby monitor there. Okay. So, I'm just wiping it off. Um, the reason I'm wiping it off is because I am going to do the alcohol inks on top of it, um, as well as the bottom. I'm going to do the the bottom one. Um, my son is 14 months. 15 months? 15 months. Thank you, Kristen. Maybe make him another bottle. Yeah, I haven't really been doing cups that long. Um, I'll turn you guys around because I'm just trying to dab this off. I don't really, I haven't really done cups that long, but I've done a lot of research on it. When I get my mind on something, I do all the research I could possibly find on it, um, just so I can say that I know a lot about it. Um, you'll notice I'll come up with like random facts about things, and I'll post to people's stuff, you know, with random facts that I've found. Um, yes, the Oracle 651 matte vinyl is what I print on with my laser printer. Um, this right here, you can't see it, but this is my matte 651. It's, it was white. 
and I printed flames on it so that I could cut the name out of the customer for his cup. Yeah, it's Cis Continuous Ink. Yeah, I did a, I've, I've done tons of research. I've watched a ton of different styles. I watch Lindsay a lot. She's really great to watch too. She has great tutorials. Um, from burning every water slide ever. <laughs> yeah, everybody calls me the water slide queen. That's what Valerie calls me too. Um, I've been water slides. My full cup wraps are my favorite thing to do. I've got so many around here. Um, I mostly packed all of them up because they've all got to ship out tomorrow, but uh, just coming to say hi. Oh, yeah. So I'm waiting for camera to come back so you can take the camera back so that you guys can watch me do the bottom of it. Yes, a lot of people, I've had a lot of people tell me that it would mess up your machine and it would mess up your printer and stuff like that because the laser printer does use a heat element. It somewhat baked the ink into your, your vinyl. Um, it didn't mess up mine. None of the adhesive came out of it. Um, you know, it, it worked fantastic for me. So that was my first time actually doing it. And then I also printed some pictures for a cup, which she's also in the group. I printed these pictures. So instead of water slide, I did them as um, just on matte white vinyl. I printed them straight from my laser printer. Um, are you? Yes, I am coming to the October retreat. I will be there. Can I do that on the inkjet? On an inkjet, the so the inkjet doesn't have a baking mechanism in it. It doesn't have a heater in it. So it um, you can't do it on there. If you try to print on there, it just kind of bubbles up on top of it and it smears really bad. Um, hi, Carrie Ann. I have not tried Glossy 651. Um, I was kind of concerned about it with that glossy top that's actually on it and how it would bake into it with the gloss on top. So I haven't tried it yet, but it would, I mean, I don't think it would hurt anything if you tried it. Um, my child is throwing down in there. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but the next step is going to be using the pinata inks. Yeah, he's, he's having a bad day. Um, so the next step is going to be using my pinata black. I don't like the Tim Holtz black because it's actually turned purple on me. What can't you print it on an inkjet? Um, I haven't done 650. I've tried 651 matte vinyl on my inkjet printer and the ink just kind of bubbled up on it. Kind of like rain on a window. Um, it doesn't have the same heating mechanism to actually bake it into your vinyl. Do you feel the ink come off? No, I don't feel the ink come off when I actually peel it off. Now, when I did use my transfer tape for the words, a little bit of it came off. You probably can go outside and seal it with a clear so that it doesn't do that. Um, I get my 651. I get it off of Amazon. I get like the rolls of it. Um, I don't like that the Tim Holtz turns purple. For some reason, it, it turns purple after you especially after you epoxy it like if you put it on there and you on your cup and then you epoxy it it looks black until you epoxy it and then it turns like this weird purple color that's not black so i stopped using the tim holtz alcohol inks for that very purpose okay so i don't think he's coming back so we just we just gonna do this one-handed okay y'all gonna bear with me right so I'm gonna turn the camera around. So I got this little makeup sponge. It's one of those little those uh, makeup sponges you do your makeup with. And so I'm just blending it on the bottom of this cup because I want it, I could have sprayed the bottom of the cup black, but it was too much hassle for me to tape it off and everything. So I just go back and put alcohol ink over the bottom. I do this for all of my um, full cup wraps as well. Um, like some of the American flags you guys saw me do, I, I alcohol ink the bottom and turn them black. Just make sure you're getting it in very well. Hi, honey. I use the pinata black ink. That's my bottle. It's kind of messy. I got the really big bottles from Amazon. It's the pinata. 
I love their inks. All the rest of their colors are very bright, vibrant and pretty. So those are actually my favorite to do, to use. That's what I used on my Galaxy Cup primarily was the pinata inks. My kid is upset. Okay, so when you get to the top, I do kind of start dabbing around like this. Um, I try to do it in like a smoke pattern. Um, I dab around the flames so that there's not such a harsh transition. I just stuck my hand to the bottom of that cup trying to turn it. So, and then I can go back and dab with an alcohol paper towel. There's, alcohol inks are super easy to use. You just, you know, you just dab and they, they're super easy. So you can get creative with this and, you know, go up a little bit more. My kid is upset. But I do try to get on the black so it blends well once you blend it up. with only one hand. <clears throat> he didn't have any passies. Ah. Were you reading comments too? Yes. I think the last one I saw Nikki jump on. Yeah. So I just dab this around. What's up, Carrie Ann? So since the black's on there, oh, I gotta do my bottom again because it got all over my hand. So you're saying you needed me? Yeah, I couldn't hold the phone and turn the cup and everything. Boy, he was pissed off when I was in there. <laughs> he was like, "Pick me up! Why are you not picking me up?" But now that now that I'm not in there, he's just just so you guys can see, this is how he is now. He would not take his damn bottle when I was in there. But now that I'm out, he's like, I guess I'll take it. It's fine, because Dad's not coming back. <laughs> he's overly tired. He's kind of grumpy today. I don't know why. Is he's, our daughter's like, are you just going to let him bust it out? I'm like, yep, pretty much. When they get when he gets overtired like that, really the only thing he can do is let him bust it out. And he takes this little nap. Yeah, so he sleep for a while. Boom, but don't won't you take me to boom, but I'll so sleepy I town. my... I take my uh, paper towel, it's kind of damp with 91% uh, alcohol, and I just kind of dab, dab it around to try and lighten the color a little bit. And you can, you can kind of create swirls and things like that to make it go along with your, uh, with your smoke. Hanny said, actually, Yashir says it's probably the weather. Then Hanny said, epoxy doesn't go inside the rim. She said, mine keeps going inside. I have to do crazy stuff to get it clean. I get so frustrated. So when um, I get epoxy. He may be teething, Elaine. He's, he's popping four teeth at one time. Um, I clean my rims. It's, I get alcohol, or not alcohol, I get epoxy inside of my rims very often. So I actually take one of my box cutter knives and I uh, heat it up with my torch and I just run it along the rim on the inside of the cup. It's a lot of dabbing. And so I'm just creating a... Cleaning up the rim honestly could be probably be a video all in itself, but just because of the different type of methods that you can use. Um, because you got, well, where we literally, I've used a sanding block and sanded the top of it so much that it created, I was able to get down to the actual rim of the cup and then trim the inside. So, uh, Meredith said, where are you getting 91%? Sell me some. 
So I had a stockpile of it for some strange reason before all of this COVID stuff happened. Um, and I actually found some from like a body art place uh, that I got. And I it was 99% alcohol. So I mixed it, you know, three fourths with a cup of the 50% and brought it down a little bit. But so I've been trying to stretch the alcohol, but it is still really hard to find. Kiri Ann said, poor thing. My godson's teething and roaring about it, too. Yeah. He's having a bad day. And he says, yeah, you're so right. It makes her super annoyed. I'm glad to hear that, Meredith. She said that's a great rim hack. Yeah. Kristen says the she heat, gets 99%. The heat tries somewhat kind of seals your, uh, seals your rim back a little. So, yeah, yeah that's scary. I'm, I'm dabbing it to try and blend it in. Meredith said uh, they have zero alcohol there. Said even diabetics can't get it. Ooh. So, I'm just dabbing it with the alcohol wet paper towel. And it just kind of blends it in a little bit. <laughs> Lisa said, my girlfriend says I can use moonshine. Yes, I have Oh, heard my that friends, before. do you think it would work? Oh, you sure said both kinds of alcohol. <laughs> she said I need some alcohol as well. So, so, yeah, that's how I do it. It's a super simple cup. You know, you just keep dabbing and blending as you go. Try to create it to help it blend in with the smoke. You can also go back over it a little bit with... Um, the smoke if you wanted to to try and give it you know so it would blend more you can do a little bit darker just try not to get onto your water slide because your water slide will try to crinkle and all that good jazz if you do it and probably add a little bit more smoke Meredith says she uses Vaseline for her rims I've heard that too, and I've also heard of like a rim saver or something. It's like a little cup that goes inside of your cup on the thing. What do I do with my electrical tape? Janelle says Everclear will work. Yes. Hanny says I took my husband's bottle he uses for woodworking. He got a gallon of a gallon last year. Nice. It's like the people with the, that you know normally stock up on toilet paper. They were golden when all this happened. I'm not one of those people. Hanny <laughs> said rim bumper. Is yes, what that's what it's called. I went slightly British because of my allergies for a moment there. Rim bumper. So I'm doing a little bit lower on the cut to try and... Ashley said, hey, first time watching. Love that cup. Hoping to get brave enough to try a smoky cup soon. Also, no alcohol where I'm at either. Jennifer said, damn, I miss the flames going on. It'll be on replay. You guys can go back and watch it. She just water slided it on. She just had to cut it in a couple different pieces because the bottom of the cup bottom curves, of the cup curves. So. Yeah. so I add a little bit more. Um, my alcohol did still trying to kind of turn purple. Lindsay said a magic eraser works amazing to clean out the inside. Ooh, I heard that somebody soaking a magic eraser inside of alcohol. Hmm. So I have heard that. Meredith said, "Where do you get a rim bumper?" Uh, I think they're on Amazon. Sorry. I'm just going to go in a little bit and dab some of the spots that kind of turn purple on me. Now, once you epoxy it, it does change back. Like mine did anyways. Make sure you get any creases if you're, uh... If your rim is there, uh, you know, if you have any breaks right here, make sure you get the breaks of your water slide so that there isn't white showing through. Um, but yeah, that's the cup. A lot of people said that they liked the idea of putting like a firefighter emblem on it or something like that. Um, you know, it would make an awesome firefighter cup. The flames definitely look real. So that's one of the coolest things. Oh, I need more. Electrical tape. She used electrical tape on it. 
Yeah, this is what I'm using. I'm using black electrical tape. My kids in there making all kind of weird noises. Black electrical tape. She catches it on fire and puts it on a cup turner. Yeah, I moved my candle instead of moving my cup. Hi, Jada. So yeah, there you go. It's all finished. Um, just needs to be epoxied, and then you can decal it, or you can decal it and then epoxy, whichever. Boom. Boom. Super finished. Super simple. It was like the easiest one I've done yet. Anybody can do that one. Kristen, we don't we don't really even smell it. The room's yeah. so ventilated well in here. Um, we have our AC unit going, and we have a little fan. Just kind of. This is how I dry all my cups when they're still wet. That was a white water slide. Yeah, it was a white water slide. I was using clear water slides, and then I realized when it would get water bubbles underneath it, it would create a gap in between the white cup and the water slide, and so it would create like little bubbles underneath it, and it would cause a color change, the color variance in it, and sometimes it would be exactly where you didn't want it to be. I don't think I have any of People are asking if you seal it before you epoxy it. Um, you don't have to. I didn't seal mine. You can if you want to, but I didn't seal mine, so it's, you know it's personal preference. If you're pushed for time, pressed for time, you don't have to. You don't have to do it because I didn't do mine. So yeah, super simple live. Any questions? Anybody want me to see? Want to see me do anything else? Uh, I know someone had asked about. Yeah, we do this in our house, Tanya. Mm -hmm. She says she's been looking for a barn, but really expensive. Yeah, they're really expensive. I'm jealous of Lindsay's she shed. When we have a house, we can probably, she'll probably have her own she shed. Yeah. Um, let me see if I have a mold that needs. Oh my God. <laughs> is that your mold box? Yes, this is my mold box. Uh, yes, you are. Yes, we make our own turners. And there you go, Wendy. Off topic is Plasti Dip spray clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, so there's white Plasti Dip, there is clear Plasti Dip, and there's also a black Plasti Dip. So you can get it in different colors. <laughs> Meredith said, Is there anything you want to see her do? She said, Everything. <laughs> Mold box. Mary, we use a silhouette. I plan on, yes, sure, I plan on doing a how to make your own cup turner yeah. live. Um, that's probably going to be one of the next ones that we do. Um, we also have a little board that we write down all the ideas. Um, Everyone wants to see the murder cup too. So if you guys want to see how anything is done, just uh, let us know and we'll jot it down on our board. Because we've already done the Jack Daniels barrel. We've done the United We Stand cup. We just did the flame cup. We did a couple so. of water slide tutorials. Yeah, I'll show the plastic dip can carry in. I'll go grab it real fast. Okay. Our son fell asleep, so that's good. This is the can. Plastic dip glossifier. Just says plastic dip glossifier. And then, I don't see where it says clear on here. Maybe I'm just missing it. Hold on. Maybe it might not say clear, but I'm sure it's with Fade Buster. So, but they do have a, a white kind. This is just the clear kind. Uh, 
Um, Yashir says, do you make storyboard cups? I have a couple down here. I haven't been bold enough to try one. Lindsay did an awesome lab on it. Um, but I haven't been bold enough to try one yet. Milky Way cup is what Carrie Ann said. Oh, Milky Way. Yes. Where do we find the previous tutorials? She'll link them. She can probably link them in this video. She can also, if you go into the Glitter Craze page, page you can type in her name, I think. Yeah, you can type in my name or you can go to the albums and then under the albums you'll see Heather Riggs tutorials. I've done links to almost all of my tutorials. You just click on it, it takes you directly to the link. Um, and you have to look for it so when you click on the album that says Heather Riggs Lives, um, you have to look at the comments. It's underneath the comments. When you click on it, there's not going to be any pictures or anything in the album. You have to go to the comments of the Heather Riggs Live tutorials. And you'll see it has like 10 or 11 comments. And those are the links to the lives that I've done. But we're probably going to be going on YouTube eventually. Mm -hmm. So that way we can just link the YouTube pages directly for you guys. You're welcome, Carrie Ann. Sandy says, I just came in. I'll be able to watch replay. Absolutely. We always put the replays up. Definitely. And she just explained how to get to them. You're welcome, Cabrina. Mary says she started with cricket and went to silhouette and went back, right back to cricket because silhouette's intimidating to her. Really? I really like... Um, Personal messages. We can walk you through anything with a silhouette. I love the silhouette. Meredith says she's stuck doing woodworking. Valerie said me either have a 20 and 30 and I, that she hasn't attempted storyboard. Um, yeah, I think I have one of both too. So I figured we'd do this live. Um, and then I have this little love thing, but I'm going to put fairy lights inside of it. We were hoping he'd sleep through the whole live. Yeah, he usually does, but... He usually settles down, but he's not... We put him down right at 2.30. Yeah. And it's about to be 3.45, 4 o'clock. So, I have some crappy fox rizzle. So, this fox rizzle created terrible, terrible fish eyes on my cups. It came from the Black Friday sale, but I figured... We're going to try it in some molds and see how that works for us. This year, our son's, uh, he was born February last year, so he's a year and four months. I thought it was 15 months. He's, he's six months. Oh, yeah, I guess it was a little bit. Candy says she's loves your gloves. Oh, thanks. She likes pink. Yeah, I think I have some more fairy lights that I can put on. How this works in molds. I've also got the big daddy tray mold that Tammy's that Tammy did a lab on. I do have one of those too. So I'm gonna see how that works. Um, I got a complete refund on this epoxy because it created such terrible, terrible fish eyes. I couldn't use it on any of my cups. So it's been sitting here since January. Not touch or use. But I figure if I'm doing big molds like this. It would definitely come in handy, especially the big daddy mold that takes 64 or 60 fluid ounces of epoxy. Handy said my mine's 18 months and she's she is a pain. She fake cries for everything. Our son does that too. Yeah, he'll fake cough. He likes to fake cough. I might have to go check on him. Because he hasn't settled pretty much the whole time. He did just for a little while, but. Whoop. Get get <laughs> no switch. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> it just randomly paused. Our Wi-Fi was starting to act up, so I'm going to try out this little thing Heather's got. Yeah, you, gotta, you have to turn it the other way because I can't see it that way. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just mixing up some epoxy. Ooh, it's all wickedly. It's 
working. Can you guys see okay? I'm back. Okay, so I'm mixing up epoxy. I'm doing this uh, love little mold right here. I'm going to put some fairy lights in it. Set it up or I can't read the comments. There we go. You guys can still see me. I'm blind, so. Yes, we can see. So much better. Whoop whoop. Okay, I'm gonna move you down a little bit. See, I'm okay, Mama. So, mixing my epoxy. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in this yet. So I have some dried flowers somewhere. I'm not really sure where they are. So as you can tell, my epoxy has a little bit of bubbles in it. So much better. Okay. Really? Yeah. So our internet's out. Lovely Comcast. That's why we're having some technical difficulties here. So, I'm going to try and find my dried flowers really quick. And I was unsuccessful at finding them. So, we are going to get some other stuff. Uh, FX is horrible. Used to art resin Tammy was using, and it's awesome. Do you put green color glitter in epoxy or after you pour? You, I usually put it in and mix it if I'm going to mix in colors. So how about some leaves? Those are pretty. We can mix some in. So I am going to pour in a little bit of, of epoxy first. Um, I don't want any of the leaves to be sticking out once I do it. So let's see if you guys can see. I thought you. <laughs> So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. Now you can color tint this epoxy if you wanted to, you know, to give it a little bit of a color if you wanted to, um, or even some glitter to make it glittery. So I'm just filling it up just a little bit. But yeah, usually I use Tammy's, um, the Glitter Craze Epoxy. Um, I love their epoxy. Uh, it gives you a glass-like finish. It's super pretty. Love it. Um, I'm going to put some of these leaves in there. I know it's totally not fall, but we're going to pretend <laughs> that it is. Um, dang, I thought it was mine too. Can you come back and do this? I can't read all the comments. I can't see it. The TV's trying to reconnect. Ah, uh, so Comcast is probably working on it or something like that. So I'm gonna take my glove off because Sorry, that was probably super loud, guys. All right, so what what all did you see? Uh, I didn't really get to see much. <coughs> I just saw where it came back. It's okay. Janelle said, you're back. Amber <laughs> says, we're back. <laughs> Andy says, okay, I'm back too. Yeah, I have the pamphlet on my table right now. She Shed Future. Woo -woo. People are talking about buying She Sheds now. Oh gosh, what epoxy do you use on your so tumblers? Bad. But I my use... only problem is with a She Shed is if it's outside, I can't watch my kids from being outside. You know what I'm saying, like in the She Shed. Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Um, what do I, uh, uh, it just... It's resetting. It, yes, ma'am. It just said restart. Yes, okay. ma'am. It should be back on in just a second, kiddo. 
What epoxy do you use in your tumblers? I use faux, but they changed the formula. Horrible fish eyes, trying CC yes. DIY and CS re KS resin. KS resin yeah. Not loving either, either one because of micro bubbles, and yes, I've tried all the tricks. I use the glitter craze one. I, they're fast set. I use their art resin. Their art resin is a is a medium viscosity, I think, or a, I don't know. It's it's pretty thin, but it creates a really nice uh, finish on your cup. It looks very. Um, it looks like glass when it's done. You can see from my Jack Daniels cups that I that I showed you guys a second ago that are turning. It's very clear. Like. Candy says you put color slash glitter in epoxy or or after you pour. You put it in with your epoxy. You put it in with your epoxy and you mix it up in there. Now the only reason I'm doing this is because I poured a layer of um, a layer of the reason I poured a little bit of epoxy down in the bottom of this is so that the leaves wouldn't stick out and create rough edges. I want them just to kind of sit in the middle. Elaine said, "Where'd you get the glove? Where'd you get the love mold?" I got this from the glitter craze, from their molds. Glitter craze. I love their molds. They come up with all the new stuff. If anybody was wondering, I requested Tammy to get the boobies. Um, the booby straw topper mold. That was me. Sorry. Uh, Is that a sorry, not sorry? Yeah, that's a sorry, not sorry. My customers requested it. So. I'm just scraping some of these off into the epoxy. I'm going to put my fairy lights in next. Yeah, Hanny said I used quick set for the first time yesterday. She loves, oh loves, loves how quickly it dries. Yes, I finished my Galaxy Cup in two days, and I didn't even epoxy it the first yeah, time. Yeah, those flames are a water slide, Karen. Yes. How do you clean your molds when you use glitter? Um, somebody said the other day they get the glitter off of them with a. Um, what do you mean? Okay. They get the glitter off with a lint roller. So you can just roll roll it off of there like that. Some You can also wash them in warm soapy water to try and I've done that quite a few times too. I've um, got to change a poop diaper. Oh yeah, hold on. I'll be back. Yes ma'am? If it says to, yes ma'am. That is trippy. Yeah, the way it looks when it's moving and stuff like that, yeah. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Right. Okay, He's so this is my little fairy light. This is what they look like. This is what the little thing looks like. So, I'm in and out of my mold here. And then I'm going to pour a epoxy on top of it. So I'm just pressing it down in the mold. Make sure you press it down low enough so that it's not going to be sticking out over the top of the mold, which mine is trying to do right now. So you can you can bend and crimp this any way that you want. There's also one of these that says home. There's a mold that says home on it. This is not wanting to work for me. I have not done one of these yet, so as you guys can tell, I'm kind of struggling. There we go. I got it laid down. And yes, I'm getting epoxy all over my hands, but I can't do this with gloves. that and then I'm gonna weave it up. I'm gonna weave it down maybe and then wrap it around the O. I guess I could have put hearts in this since it says love. I'm a goof. Okay and just make sure that it stays down. You have to crimp it and press it so that it stays down, pushing it down. I got that down. Now, let's get this down.
Of course I use my baby wipes. This is not wanting to do right for me. There we go. That's better. A little. Changing the poopy diaper. So much poop. Seriously? So much poop. Oh my god. Maybe that's why he's crying. So so much poop. Maybe his stomach was hurting. Maybe. Is this live gonna be posted in the group? Yes. This live will be posted after it's finished into the group so you can go back and watch. Karen and Patricia say thank you. Uh has anyone had a fire hazard from this? I want one so bad, but I'm kinda of scared of fire. Um, no, the electrical tape has something in it so that when it catches on fire, it puts itself out. Um, within like a couple seconds, it puts itself out. So I haven't really had any problems with it. You know, I will tell you, I almost burnt the house down with trying to do one of those constitution cups. Um, because, well, I'm not the best at catching paper on fire and not letting it like really catch on fire, I guess. Okay, so I've got most of it pressed down as you see. So I'm just gonna go in with more epoxy. I'm probably gonna have to mix more. And I'm pouring epoxy on top of it. You can also mix leaves in with your top layer of epoxy. Kids. Yeah, and you got to meet our kids this time. Here, you guys were thinking we were single and, well, not single, but, you know, kid-free, and we really had two kids lurking around. All right, so i got to mix more epoxy. And I'll probably put more leaves. Wendy said, why am I here in the video twice? I'm not sure. It's probably our internet. Well, you're on your phone data now. Oh, get the baby monitor away. I just turned it off. Sometimes that can interfere in, you know, whether or not hmm. it can be echoing back or something. Oh, that's a thing. Good hunch, though. Es posible que sí. So yes, I figured I'd use this for molds. What do you guys think? I don't have to worry about fish eyes on my molds, right? Mm -hmm. I just keep pouring out of these things. I just work here. You're just the helper. Jeez. There's a funny story behind that. Yeah. My daughter calls him my helper. Hi, Carrie. She says, hello, glitter friends. Hello. Kelly says, I think Poxy has anywhere from 350 degree tolerance and up, so I don't think the lights would pose a fire hazard. No proof, oh, just no, my thoughts. no, no, no. The, the lights would not pose a fire hazard at all. I thought you meant catching the stick on fire to get the smoke method. My bad. No, they won't. They don't even get hot at all. Like, they don't even get warm to the touch. I put all of these, I got these, it's like a 12 pack off Amazon for the little fairy lights. Um, they're pretty expensive though. I think Tammy has some, it's possible. Hers are probably cheaper. Um, and they don't even get hot. They're, they're battery operated. They have like a little watch battery inside of it. So, but once you, you know, this is all set with epoxy and everything, it's going to be really pretty with the lights in it. So I'm just pressing that down in there a little bit more. Mix in my epoxy. Uh -oh. What? Oh yeah, it likes to creep back out. It doesn't like me. 
Once I finish mixing this, I'll push it down with my stick. I like to push things with my stick. Good to know. Yeah. It's better than getting epoxy all over my hands. So yeah, you see I mix very fast. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very impatient to mix it slow with no bubbles and all that good jazz. You can take a torch to it after this so that you get rid of all the bubbles in it. Um, I, when you get it hot like that, it does liquefy it a little bit more. So. Isn't that the whole, like, don't tell Tammy joke? Oh, you took, no, the torch, the heat gun. Wait, what did I say? You said take the torch to it. Oh, I meant the heat gun. You should just take the heat gun to it. The torch can burn your, um... Mold? Your mold. And when that happens, your epoxy will actually stick to it. It won't cleanly remove it. Remove the epoxy. It won't be a clean removal of your blank that pops out of it. But I got some seashells today for my big daddy mold. It's the uh, serving tray mold. I got some seashells for it and I'm thinking I'm going to do like a beach type theme for it. Which is going to be super cool. Chris says they're fast with mixing too. <laughs> yeah, I'm very impatient. I don't have time to sit around. I bought a, an epoxy mixer over there. It's so slow. It's miserable. Wendy said spritzing it with alcohol works too. Yes, spritzing with alcohol works too. That's why I have it in one of my little singy majiggies. So let's push this back down. We don't glue the footballs on the pipes. Mm -mm. I interchange them. I do have some couple sources things coming. Um, however, <laughs> Lindsay said, "Oh, that's why my molds don't mat don't last. Yeah, if you torch them, that's." Yeah, it will burn them. So. But I do have the Cuposaurus coming, the little foam inserts that fits all your cups. I do have that coming, it's just not here yet. I think I want to add some glitter to it. Heather's addicted to glitter. Shh, I don't know why. So I'm going to add some Diamond Series in it. Just to give it some sparkle. And I absolutely love the Diamond Series. Diamond Series White Diamond. Cabrina said her daughter wants to make a beach themed tray for her 4-H project this year. Yes, that big daddy mold that Tammy has is, you know, that is definitely one I would do it with. Lindsay says they burn and then they rip. Talking about the molds when you... Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm very messy with it. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Especially around the little cracks. I just push it all off in there. Just pouring it all in there. Making sure my pieces are staying pressed down into the epoxy because I don't want them to stick it out of it. Deronda says she loves the Diamond Series as well. Yes, I have every single color in the Diamond Series that has been released so far. Most of them came in my subscription box. Yeah, Kendra, box. you can definitely watch it later. I'm new to this. We're going to order this stuff. Love that mold. You love the love mold? That's ironic. Uh, Lee, you can order a lot of this stuff on Glitter Craze. Yeah, GlitterCraze.com is where all of my glitter and my shapes and my molds come from. I did get like one or two off of Etsy. However, um, they're a lot more expensive that way. You have to pay shipping individually and they want $20 a mold. Uh, Chris said, what would you suggest selling these for? And then Lindsay said, I thought you were OCD. You're killing me. What? I'm, I'm, I'm OCD in different ways. I'm a strange OCD. What am I doing yeah. wrong? Carrie Ann said, what do you sell them for after? Um, I don't know. I've never made one before. Uh, but I would think like 10 or 15 bucks. That's, that's probably cheap. Yeah, it's probably cheap. Maybe 20. I mean, your fairy Just lights and everything... As soon as you push one in, another one pops up. I know, another one pops up. 
You need two sticks. There we go. That one's staying down now for the moment. It needs to stay down just long enough for it to... Shit. You had to point that one out, didn't you? Well... I, I know. I, I would cannot. rather know. <laughs> Lindsay said it's all over that mold. Yes, it is. That's why she's uh, talking about your OCD. Yeah, I'm definitely messy when it comes to molds, especially something like this because it's so big. And the fairy lights doesn't. And the fairy lights isn't helping my calls right now. It's not helping me at all. If you have a Marks fairy lights, they're 99 cent, Lee said. Ooh. Yep, Wendy, she has lights in it. Yes, this is lights. See, you want to see? Ta-da! Ta said, you need gloves on, girl. I know. It's hard to do it with gloves. Of course, you can see all my bubbles in there. I'm going to turn the lights off because it's distracting me. Oh my god, that one popped out again. So obviously the fun part is getting your lights to lay flat. Hey, Susan. Let me get another stick. Okay. Okay. Let's stick. You're going to use my janky one. For the moment. So yeah, this took about 60 milliliters. Or no, 120 milliliters of epoxy. So 60 of part A and 60 of part B. Wendy said if you let it cure a little and push it down, it'll probably... Yeah, it'll probably be a lot easier. I think it's going to be pretty. As long as I get all these stupid bubbles out. The faux rizzle is probably not helping. No, nah, this just creates terrible fish eyes. I don't think it's the bubbles. Or, I don't think it's the, the epoxy. But it could be. Very well could be. Nice. And in doing that, it came back out. Don't you hate when it just falls out like that? I don't want to use that end. I'm struggling hard, you guys. You see this? I'm about to throw this damn thing outside. Gabrita said, I think epoxy would be in my hair and on my face. <laughs> it's on my leg, for sure. Okay. Funny, Cameron. I'm about to throw this fucking thing at your face. Why? I know it's annoying. So maybe it's better to... I don't know what to do at this point. <laughs> guys are like, oh my god, she's got bare hands in this epoxy, but I'm really looking across the street. Everybody's laughing. Because <laughs> you're threatening my life. No. Um, Lindsay said, have you done awareness ribbon mold? Get yeah. bubbles 89% of the time, no matter what I do. Um, For the straw topper? I have done that one. I think you did the actual... No, I was thinking about the um autism puzzle piece. You, you've done that one too. Yeah. But that was for the... Uh, I did those on the Real. name reels, name badge reels. I feel like using chopsticks. Maybe let it cure some. 
Yeah, I'll probably have to let it cure some and then stick it back in there. Carrie Ann said, next time you do this, place the fairy lights in the empty mold. Once you have the shape, twist them together, then they will stay sat in the epoxy. Oh, see? She said yes, the topper. Yeah, I've done that one. I don't have tons of bubbles on it, though. This one. It's the one that has the thing. Yeah, I don't have bubbles on it. I have all my molds up there. I throw them all up there. Where's my spray bottle? Let's see. The bubble. But I think it's going to be pretty. If it makes it, I may throw it away <laughs> and start over. But yeah, I think it's going to look pretty cool. What you guys think? Besides me struggling so hard. see it come out over there but I'm not messing with it <laughs> oh, my baby wipes I used okie dokie figured we'd play with a mold and we had some extra time since my cup tutorial was super fast hopefully everybody enjoyed it um, inbox me if you have any questions or comments or concerns uh, and once again I hope you guys have a great Sunday and I hope you had fun even though you saw me struggle really hard over here. Um, yeah. Bye.